What's up? Uh, my name is Philip. I've been collecting sneakers for the past four years or so. Um, it's pretty much the biggest hobby that I have and pretty much all I read about every single day. <laughs> It's gonna be really hype beastie, but like I started because my brother was like, hey, these Supremes re releasing bot soda t shirts. And I was like, all right, let's get some bot soda t shirts. And then afterwards, I was like, all right, I probably need some cooler shoes to wear with all these hype Supreme items that I'm starting to buy. Yeah, I was, I was looking at like, uh, a, uh, like I was like following a bunch of different sneaker posts and like sneaker news and following everything. And uh, I mean, like there's a bunch of stuff I wanted, but for me, like at the at the time, I was really into like raw denim and workwear, and I saw the uh, Lance Mountain Jordan ones that were um, each uh, in the left and right shoes were the Breds and the Royals, but they were painted, um, and you would wear down the paint as you skate. And, and because I wasn't really into raw denim at the time, like I, I really liked that uh, kind of personalization that that came with that. When I bought those Lance Mountains, that was. Um, Pretty much the start of my collection. But if you had to sell all of your sneakers, what would be the last three sneakers that you would keep? The first pair I would keep would be the Pirate Black 350 V1s. Um, because, uh, I don't know, like, Kanye has been such a huge part of my life. Um, like, 12, I've been listening to Kanye for like 12 years. Since college, college dropouts. 2004. 2004, so like. <laughs> So, so 14 years, that's, that's pretty close, yeah. right? Like for me, I was always a huge fan of the, um, of the Nike Yeezys and like, even, even back then I was like, oh man, those Red, red Octobers look hella cool, but like, it, maybe it's because they had Kanye's name attached to them. Um, so when Nike, oh, when Adidas signed Kanye, I was like, all right, it's time to, it's time to get some Yeezys, like. I was able to get the um, Pirate Blats through Adidas Confirmed, so they're just my first pair of Yeezys. I mean, for me, it's all about the sentimentality for this pair, at least, because like it, it's cool that it's an all black shoe, which is pretty easy to wear, um, but it's also because they're super iconic at this time, right? Even if they don't look as good compared to the V2s. <clears throat> all right. Uh... I'm sure everybody recognizes these, right? Probably. Jordan ones are like pretty much my favorite silhouette of all time, and I don't know. I, the bread, the bread colorway is probably the most iconic colorway. Besides, like all of the OGs are pretty iconic, but the breads, of course, have the famous story that Michael Jordan was fined every every game that he wore them. I have a crap ton of Jordan ones, like a huge amount, and like. I would hold on. I would. I would sell every other pair before I sold these. I mean, they're just like Jordan ones are always. I feel like they're always pretty easy to wear. Um, they're my favorite high top. I, they're my favorite silhouette, but they're definitely like one of the easiest high tops to wear. And I, I feel like they go well with everything. <sighs> so off white blazers. These are my favorite off-white pair um, so far, but I don't think I don't think they're gonna release any pair that's better than this to me. This this oversized swoosh is just the best. <laughs> I love the swoosh so much, and I love like all the other pairs that Nike have been doing lately. Like they've they've had swooshes that bleed into the midsole, and I and I love it so much. And I've just been beating these like like I wore them to wear like. Just horseshoe bend. Horseshoe bend. Uh, antelope. Antelope Canyon. Yeah. Antelope Canyon. Yeah. I, I mean, they would look good if they were they were 100 percent plain, right? But like when I came back from my road trip wearing these, these looked so grimy, but they still look they still they looked so well worn that like they looked enjoyed, I guess. You know, and and that's that and that's the most I could ask for from a shoe is just something that I enjoy wearing. I guess what, like what, what's your opinion on on like the resale market right now and how people are making that making livings out of the resale market? I mean, I don't knock the hustle, right? Like you see money there, you take it. Um, 
it, it's shitty that you, or it sucks that you have to take that away from like people that genuinely want or enjoy a shoe. I, I don't, I don't obsess about sneakers as much as I used to. I guess um, I, I still follow it every day. But why, why, why is it that you don't follow it as much as you used to? I don't know. I feel like it's like like you said. It, it might be a lot to do with the term, term commercialization, commercialization of it all. Um, it's just it doesn't seem as like exciting as it once was. I guess, and that might be because I bought enough pairs to to make me happy.